Welcome to Hindsight Tonight, I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, the Mar-a-Lago affidavit that supported the search of former President Donald Trump's Florida home was finally released to the public on Friday with the best of intentions to clarify the ongoing he said, we said battle of sound bites between Trump and the Justice Department. Well, you know the old saying, good intentions are the paving on the road to Sharpie Hell. Much of the highly anticipated document was released in a heavily redacted form and, according to Magistrate Judge Bruce Reinhardt, Black lines matter. They help to protect the names of witnesses, agents, and other specifics that could then be challenged. This is the same Judge Reinhardt who once left the U.S. government to work for none other than the late Jeffrey Epstein, but we digress. So why release a document that nobody can see? That's like holding a press conference to lift off the tarp and reveal what the new 2023 Lamborghini looks like, and then putting Lucy the Elephant in front of it. Big improvement in cargo space this year, guys. Atimo Lovaro. A bigger elephant in the room this year had been President Joe Biden's approval rating, which was under 38% for most of the summer, but has suddenly surged higher, apparently boosted by lower gas prices and his new student debt relief plan, which will forgive up to $10,000 of college loan debt for students who currently earn less than $125 grand a year. Biden's detractors called it a political move that is tantamount to buying votes. But who is being bought exactly? Pew Research Center says that 61% of college graduates already loved Joe Biden and voted for him in 2020. So there's no needle to move there. If he wanted to buy votes, he should have given the $240 billion to fly over state farmers, Deep South high school dropouts, welfare recipients, Midwest blue collar workers. Turning red states purple is the key to winning in 2024, not handing out tens of thousands of dollars to wealthy law students and business school graduates who have a much brighter future earning potential than any other demographic. It's enough to make you start drinking. And the state of New Jersey has now made that easier for its residents. Instead of drinking and driving, the beer now drives to you. The Garden State issued a ruling that third-party delivery services like DoorDash and Grubhub can now deliver alcoholic beverages to New Jersey residents beginning in October. Now, this might not sound like a big deal. I mean, 21 states already allow for third-party alcohol delivery. But for New Jerseyans who are just too busy to make it down the shore, this means that it will now finally be possible to drink enough booze to be able to see Lucy the Elephant in the safety of your own home. And that's your news. This is Hindsight Tonight. Join us right here every Sunday for Fresh Hindsight.